Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am automotive qualified auditor. I am doing audit for automotive sector for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between bias and linearity? As per MSC measurement system analysis fourth edition, when we talk about bias, it is talking about that when we take an average of a certain dimension and then we compare it with a reference value, what is the difference that comes? That is called bias. And this bias can be positive or negative. Say for example, if we check this particular pen, on this particular pen we check this particular dimension with a micrometer and uh, say if the reference value is 5 and we observed say different values, we check different times and we find it the average of measurement is coming out to be 5.1. So that will be called as positive bias. But assume that the average of measurement comes out to be 4.9. So that will be called negative bias in comparison to the reference value. When we talk about linearity, we are talking about that when we check on the, the complete measurement system, what kind of variations that we observed. So, for example, let's take an example of this particular scale. Now, this scale is from 0 to 30, but the intent is not to check the entire range, but to check the operating range. Say for the operating range is from 5 to 15. So, we check at 5, 6, 7, 8 and we go up to 15. And we see that what is the difference that is coming with respect to the reference value. So in a way it is the bias over a operating range that we checked. And it is in general intent is that the lower is the slope, the better is the linearity. So we can take another example that let's assume that we go to a particular shop. Say for example, we go to a doctor and we found a weighing balance and our family has gone there of husband, wife and two children. And when they check their weight there, the weight of husband is say 70 kg, wife is 50 kg and the two children is 30 kg and 20 kg. And they feel happy about the weight. And when they come back home, they have their own weighing balance also. Now they thought that, okay, let's see that uh, if any difference is coming between the weight, what they have checked there and here. Now the husband found that now his weight is not 70 kg, but 71, still okay. Wife gets happy because the 50 becomes 49. And the children also find there is a gap of around half kg. Now, this particular variation, if we consider that uh, the weighing balance at the doctor's place is a reference value. So, that variation that is coming, that is called bias. But when we talk about this complete operating range from 20 kg to 70 kg, then whatever variation that is coming, so here we are talking about the linearity. And the intent is that it should be, it should not vary too much and it should be linear in nature. If it is linear in nature, it means yes, our weighing balance is okay because uh, we are not expecting any surprises there. So if I if I talk more about that, what can be the possible causes that why this bias and linearity error happens? So there can be many reasons. Some of them are that maybe the calibration has not been done for the instrument or the calibration has been done, but has not been done in the correct way. Maybe the fixture on which we are putting up the component is not good, maybe the equipment has worn out, maybe the operator who is working on that particular measurement system is not quite competent to do that and there can be many more reasons. So if I give a summary, the bias is about the average of measurement system and we measure it with a reference value, whatever is the gap that comes that is called bias. And when we talk about linearity, we are talking about that operating range, say from 5 to 15, and we see that what is the bias over that operating range. So that is called linearity. My next topic will be again related to MSA study. What is the key difference between type A and type B error? I'm regularly getting a lot of feedbacks from your side and they're helping me to understand your expectations. So please do continue your feedback. And in case you think that this kind of video is relevant for you and it is helping you. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my website bhavyamagla.com. And in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video, if you go to the below link, you'll find a detailed version about this particular video. Thank you very much.